If you're using a primary limited palette of just yellow, red, and blue, can you mix a burnt sienna? I'm going to show you how it's done. My name is Vita Evenson and I paint grease. So the first thing I need to do is to tone my canvas. Right now it is white with the gesso and I usually tone my canvas with burnt sienna. But since I am using the limited palette, I'm going to have to mix my own burnt sienna. So how do you do that? It's really quite simple. I have mixed the primary yellow with the red and I have this orange here. So I'm going to take the orange and uh, I'm going to add blue to the orange. So again, it's just a mix of red yellow and blue in different uh, different measures. Let me put a little bit of the burnt sienna that I use and let's try and see if I can gauge and create my own burnt sienna. Here I have the blue and the red mixed together, so I'm just going to take some of that and add that in until I get to the same value. Value means how light or dark the color is. It's about the same value now, I just need to make it a little Add a little bit more red. Looks pretty close. And I can make it warmer more orangey if I want. So um, I'm just going to go with this. So this tone is a little too red. So all I need to really do is make some yellow in there and it works. I mean, it just warms it up and uh, brings it much closer to the uh, feel of burnt sienna, which is a beautiful earth tone. Mixing your own colors using a primary limited palette is a great way to learn how to create all sorts of colors that you can use in your painting. No, they won't be perfect out of the two burnt siennas, but they'll be close enough and you can use them with comfort and confidence while learning how to mix all the colors that you need to paint your painting with just the three primaries. It's pretty cool. So with that, thanks so much for being here. Be inspired, be creative, be you.